when you walk in a sequoia grove, it is a sense of beauty, of the power of nature that is really unmatched. It seems silly to talk about a scenic experience being so emotional and so spiritual and so overwhelming, but it, but it is, it just is. If you've never seen a giant sequoia, you need to go see one. We're losing them at a rate that we never thought was even possible. And unless we act now, it's disappearing across the landscape. The one thing that people have to understand is after a hundred years of fire suppression, we've really changed the stand structure of these forests. High severity fire in a giant sequoia grove that kills 93% of the grove is not natural. That's not what giant sequoia need. I don't even know what nature is anymore because the climate's changing. <laughs> we have to do something proactive. The world around these trees has changed so fast. We really have to put our heads together to think about how to protect them. And that's what a coalition does. In order to save sequoias, we need every tool in the toolbox. We need prescribed fire. We need restorative thinning. We need it all. We know what needs to be done. The people who manage the budgets of these public agencies in Washington, D.C. and Sacramento need to hear from us. We need to be able to speak with one voice and say, hey, we've all agreed. We manage different groves in different places with different mandates, but we need all these tools and this is incredibly urgent. The more we could collaborate with each other, we could spread that knowledge between each other and let everybody know, it's going to be better for everybody. If we want our old growth giant sequoias to not just survive but to proliferate, we need to go out there and help mother nature a little bit. <laughs>